What we wanted to do was to give students a feeling that they were being invited into these spaces and that it was an open invitation to them to participate in all these different types of programs. So a student who's walking in to use the library uh, will be exposed to and aware of what the robotics team is doing nearby. We'll see students that are working in the makerspace and building and creating things. We'll see the 3D printers and the laser cutters running in the electronic space. I'm a local entrepreneur, co-founder of Nixon. So we have technical engineers, we've got beautiful graphic designers, and we've got makers that are building prototypes. And I look at this space like, like very similar to how we set up our office. In the upstairs space is a biotech lab. The biotech lab has a clean room and technologies that we currently don't have on our campus. A student approached me to ask if we had the ability on campus for her to work with human cells. And my answer, unfortunately, was no, not yet. This vision of a biotech lab offers students like her and others an opportunity to really do next level, sophisticated scientific research, ongoing projects that don't get to happen in a contained classroom space. I think this space is gonna be a place to practice an innovative mindset, an innovative way of looking at the world, or looking at a world through the, the orientation of how do I make this better? And you have a place to practice that in your high school. Scientist, mechanical engineer, watchmaker, I don't care, an innovative, mindset is going to serve you right no matter what you end up doing. Our campus is really beautiful and it's really inviting and, and I know from my own experience how incredible the teachers and courses are that are happening inside of our classrooms. And so by providing a space like this, what I think we're doing is we're offering every single one of our students um, from the minute they walk in the door in seventh grade till the day that they graduate and beyond, um, we're inviting them to sit at the table to participate in the making and the creating of, of their world. And I think just by doing that, we're going to see amazing things from our students um, th that perhaps we haven't even imagined.